Imagine being on a luxury cruise ship with over 1,400 cabins. Oh my God, look at the size of that shower. Spas, pools, and hot tubs galore. Should we go back in? Yes. All right, three, two. And 20 eateries serving global cuisine. I'm gonna get the pick. Then we are at sea. But with passengers demanding top-rate service, we boarded as rock stars are going to uh, disembark as divas, I think. The crew don't stop until they're satisfied. We need a green drink at St. Patrick's. It's St. Patrick's. Day. They said the yeah. tram comes every five minutes, and it's been longer than that. They're not happy. And I don't like people that are not happy. Keeping the show on the road under tricky conditions. Apparently, there's been some high winds. Oh my God. Today is the last day. Thank God. I am so. Excited. But facing challenges on land and at sea. If it's not safe, then there's no question. We're just not going to go. It's not always plain sailing on the cruise. The sun is shining, the shades are on, and the sea is glistening in the Caribbean. It's day five on board Scarlet Lady. And the sailors are nearing the end of their cruise. Oh, why are you? Oh my God! <laughs> and it's been a busy week. Our bunch of merry sailors have lived it up on the Costa Maya. The biggest best thing was no kids. And really made the most of life on board. Oh, that is really good. But it's the morning after the night before the cruise's biggest party, Scarlet Night. Woo! Built as creatively crafted chaos, the night took revelers into the early hours with non-stop music, entertainment and pool parties. And it's left some sailors feeling a little bit worse for wear. So if we're ready to do this, let me hear you say hell yeah! Hell yeah! For first time rock stars Damien and Paul from Manchester, the party hasn't really stopped since they boarded. And Damien, particularly, is starting to feel the consequences. Yeah, I think after how many nights have we been on here now? Uh, four, have we done four nights? Have we done three nights? Four nights, I think. To the point of, I'm not really sure how long this has been going on. I think I might have hit it a bit hard and heavy, so <laughs> might be time for a bit of a detox. As the days blur into one, Damien's determined not to spend the rest of the cruise nursing a hangover. I'm attempting the coffee, but I'm uh, hoping to go and uh, get something that will uh, perk me up a little bit further in the uh, form of uh, the ship's magical hangover cure. Damien heads to one of the ship's doctors for something quite unique, intravenous fluid therapy. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, Damien. How are you? I'm good. I'm By all accounts, the only cruise liner in the world to offer such a treatment. Uh, yes, I yes, think so. Please, step in. <laughs> oh, get a view as well. Yeah. But first, he needs to come clean as to why he's here. Okay, Damien. So, what made you choose to come and see us today? Um, I believe it's supposed to rejuvenate you and make you feel a little <laughs> bit fresher than I did this morning when I woke up. <laughs> Are you having fun on your vacation? Yes. Yeah, Scarlet Night. Ooh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit too much. Never too much. Never. But just had a little bit of a lot. Okay. So the idea with the IV therapy is that I'm going to deliver fluids yep. through your veins. It's saline solution and vitamins. It's to hydrate yourself. It's to give you like a little boost after a rough night. And it looks like Damien needs all the electrolytes he can get. So I'm gonna quiz this. Yep. Very tight. Okay. This does seem a bit extreme. It is pretty rock star. It definitely um, beats the full fat Coke and banana um, combination <laughs> that he usually tries. So. <laughs> But will it work? Rock stars pay thousands a week for the cruise, and as Damien's nerves kick in, the last thing he wants is to spend the rest of his cruise in bed. I'm gonna ask you to take a deep breath, and when you breathe in, the needle will go in as well. All good? Yeah. Perfect. For Damien, it's a race to recovery, so he doesn't miss out on the highlight of the cruise. Today, the ship will be dropping anchor in a paradise most would kill to visit, the tropical island of Bimini in the Bahamas, no less. 
Whilst there, sailors can sunbathe on its pristine golden beaches or explore the rich marine life within its crystal clear turquoise waters. But the jewel in the crown is exclusive access to Virgin's own club, Tropicana. They have spent the most of their bigger expectation. The company have invested millions and guests need to be left open-mouthed and wanting to come back for more. Hi, how are you? They're hoping there's something for everyone across the club's four and a half acres. For sailors looking for a more chilled vibe, there's cabanas and hammocks to kick back in. And for those looking to live it up, there's a pool flotilla party and live DJ. For the ship's 1,160 crew, it's all hands on deck. There's a huge five-star picnic to prepare for the beach club, and island excursions to sell, and there's a lot riding on it, especially for the rock stars. Hi, darling. For those who have upgraded to VIP treatment, turbocharged Selma from Montenegro will be on hand. We're going to take care of that. Tomorrow. I know. But before she can head to Bimini Shores, she's got business to take care of on board. See you later, darling. Selma's job is all about the schmoozing. Being their best friend, getting under their skin, it's usually done on the first day. You can recognize people who are a little bit needy and uh, who need a little bit extra attention. They're always recognizable on the first day. I can recognize rockstar sailors because they're wearing a black wearable. So first I check for the wearable and then I check the face. If it's mine, I'm going down. The black wearable helps her quickly identify rock stars. Although checking in with all of them every day is a tall ask. You look amazing. See you on the rooftop. I will remember it on the first day, I will remember some casual conversations and then during their voyage I always try to surprise them. Are you in hiding? <laughs> <laughs> they love that. It makes them feel special, appreciated. <laughs> I know. We're... But on top of her usual duties and a shift on Bimini, Selma has found out one of her rock star couples, Sandra and Danya, have an extra special event. Today, I have a 25th anniversary celebration for my sailors from the rock stars. She's going above and beyond to make sure their day is unforgettable. And I'm going to bring them champagne and chocolate plate. And I'm going to write a very nice card for them. They don't know that's coming, so it's going to be a surprise. Up on the exclusive rooftop for rock stars only, they're never short of a champagne or two. Hi, guys. I need the complimentary champagne. Yeah, even when we're bringing champagne for the anniversary, it's going to be on the ice. So it's always one step ahead of them. We have to anticipate their desires. But there's a problem. <gasps> no ice. The anniversary couple could be back in their room any minute and a warm glass of bubbly won't go down well. There is no ice, not on this side at least, but I'm going on the other side, so I'm going to check there. Meanwhile, downstairs on deck five, for Vivacious Excursions team member Kaylee, it's sell, sell, sell ahead of Bimini, as well as making sure the excursions run to plan. Just making sure some of our sailors are in the right place at the right time and not going with the wrong group. She's got to make sure as many sailors as possible make a booking. Across the Caribbean, Kaylee and her team offer over 150 different excursions, from salsa to snorkeling to kayaking. Do you want to look at the, the kayak one? And knowing all the details of each one inside out is no small ask. I've got a sheet here, okay. the accessibility ones that we can okay. offer. People are paying up to £200 a booking, so Kaylee needs to make sure sailors are getting the right information. Okay, so we're going to book the clear bottom kayak at the beach escape. Yep. We are trying to obviously recommend, advise different tours for people. So if they're ever not around and you want a drink, the cabanas, they will obviously come to your service. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And it's rock stars like Richard and Julie that really help Kaylee meet those sales targets. So no key required. All the wristbands. 
Come on in. The couple from California have come on a holiday with their two daughters and have been burning the candle at both ends. Yes. So we're ready to do this. Let me hear you say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. One, two, three. Go so far, they're really making the most of their perks. As rock star members, the bar comes stocked, included. There's no way we're going to get through all of that. Although, they'll have a good go. Should we do gin and tonics? We should sure. do, gin and do gin and tonics. We should do gin and tonics. Let's do gin and tonics. But expectations are high. Cheers, sweetheart. Cheers. Here's to cruising. As well as spending thousands of pounds to be rock stars, they've also splashed out on what they hope will be the highlight of their cruise. We're going to do some excursions on Bimini. A little jet ski, a little stingray. Speeding the stingrays. That should be fun. Yes. And from day one of the trip, swimming with stingrays has been top of daughter Brianna's list. I'm excited to feed stingrays, specifically. <laughs> Which, I know it sounds a little dangerous, but I love them, so I'm hyped for that. But will Kaylee and her colleagues pull it off and give the family their best experience yet? A happy crew makes for happy sailors, and keeping the team on the bridge in high spirits is a popular and ambitious second officer, Georgia, also known as bridge morale officer. I'm kind of one of the ones that's in charge of the birthdays, the cakes, the departures, that kind of thing. It's just about making people feel special. Morning. Today, she really wants to go the extra mile. When the ship docks in Bimini, it will mark the end of Captain Giovanni's 10-week stint on board. And George has gone all out with a specially commissioned cake. For the 28-year-old, it's thanks to Giovanni that she can move her career to the next level. Captain Giovanni allowed me to do my first manoeuvre. That was very cool. 8-0 RPM. Um, kind of sprung on me a little bit. He wasn't really expecting it, and he's like, right, what would you do? And I was like, oh, I'd, uh. I said, no, what would you do? And I kind of went through what I'd do, and he's like, great, you're doing it. So <laughs> I was like, okay. 7.5 RPM. After spending two and a half years on Scarlet, obviously, it was a big experience for me. Very good. Cute. Morning, Keegan. Hello. This is beautiful. Good. I'm guessing Glad you it's like for it. Captain Giovanni. It's for Captain Giovanni. Perfect. Definitely. Oh. A chocolate cake as requested. Thank you. Thank I you. I hope so he enjoys much. it. Cheers. Oh. Later. Oh my lord. <laughs> Heavy. It's okay. Well, you we got, got the this. muscles. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep progressing, keep working my way up. Hopefully, get promoted later on throughout my career, and who knows, maybe captain one day. These things get heavier, I swear, every time I go and get a cake. All that's left now is to get it from the kitchen to the bridge without dropping it. My arms hurt. Hopefully Giovanni will appreciate her efforts. Feel how heavy that cake is. <laughs> My arms are like shaking. Just think of the exercise. You're I like, know, I said it. Burnt off the calories <laughs> before you've eaten them. With everything in place, it's time to present the cake. Who else are we missing? But hang on a minute. Giovanni, the star of the show, is nowhere to be found. Watch out, Sharon, Captain Giovanni. Oh, yeah, we're missing. The main man. It's the last full day of this cruise leg, and Bimini's tropical shores are in sight. It might be a dream day in paradise for our sailors, but for the crew, there's work to do. For one of them, Bimini represents his ultimate test. Meet the meticulous Jason, assistant restaurant manager. They are looking very nice, beautiful. Hailing from Cape Town, his love of food started from an early age. We always had lots of people coming over, lots of events, so I grew up in a very social family. Jason's usually found in the ship's experimental test kitchen, where he's at his most comfortable. Where's this venison? New Zealand? New Zealand. Okay. No South African venison? But today, he's got an even bigger challenge. Bimini is a massive logistical operation 
and it's down to Jason to ensure it all goes to plan. How are we doing? You catch a break? Yes. Yeah. Nice. All the food is prepped on board the ship to create what is basically a five-star picnic at the beach club. There's over 800 sailors who are expecting the same top nosh they're accustomed to on board. And with less than four hours till service begins, the pressure is mounting on Jason to make sure him and his 26-strong team are on the money. As if all that wasn't enough, he's got a new recruit, Camilla, that he needs to bring up to speed. So this 400 napkins, we're going to take it into the trolley and it's going to go over to the island. The expectation, the huge, this is the last day for the sailors to enjoy. We never say no. We never say no. We always have a solution. For restaurant worker Camilla from Brazil, it's a case of learning fast. She's never worked on this event before. You have been earmarked and you have shown interest that you want to step up to the next level. It's a big ask and Jason can't afford to have any weak links on his team. There's a lot for Camilla to get her head around. Is there enough water or juice on the table? Don't drop the anchor and stay at one table. You're going to have about 20 different tables and everybody's going to want your attention. So you're going to ask specific questions. They're going to say yes or no. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's your closing statement and then you, and then you move. But not the robotic, not my name is Camilla. Jason certainly hasn't skipped on any details. But will it be information overload for Camilla? So. Basically, this is a very important day for us. With the ship due to dock any minute, Selma needs to head down to the gangway as she's working on Bimini today. Hi there, enjoying? But she's still on the hunt for ice for her anniversary rock star couple. We're going all the way in the back of the ship and hopefully find some ice. From deck 16 to the kitchen on deck 6, rock star agents like Selma walk an average of 9 kilometers every day. In the kitchen are the surprise chocolates for her sailor's 25th wedding anniversary. Here I have a chocolate plate with the writings, happy 25th anniversary. It's just a little bit of chocolates to make it sweet, sweet and delight for them. But still no ice for the champagne. So it's back to working on that step count. Having wandered halfway round the ship, eventually the ice is found and Selma makes the finishing touches. I'm going to quickly write the card. Quite the effort, but this anniversary surprise is a piece of cake compared to some of the requests she's had in the past. I met the sailor. He requested the living llama in his room and the team didn't know how to manage that, but uh, they got an idea and they brought him inflatable llama. It was a super fun story, but um, still, we did it. We gave him llamas. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Can I come in? Yes, of course. A scarlet lady reaches Bimini's tropical shores. It's all hands off deck to get everything ready. After overseeing all the preparations and offloading of food supplies for Bimini, Jason and his team head to the beach club with newbie Camilla eager to make a good impression. Wait for me. Today we like to say it's the jewel in the crown because everybody's getting off board. There's a massive expectation. We're signing autographs later. <laughs> Our team, normally when we're done working. Time is of the essence, as Jason has less than two hours to prep Camilla and his team for lunch service at noon. Meanwhile, our rock star family are disembarking. Richard and Julie and their daughters, Brianna and Caitlin. Did you guys see the color of the water? The water is gorgeous. It's beautiful. And expectations are sky high for their final day. As VIPs, it's Kaylee's job to keep them on track as they've got a day jam-packed with activities. But you'll have a fabulous time because there's so much sea life out there. Oh, yeah. You get to see the stingrays. But the family need to up the pace as before swimming with stingrays, they have jet skiing to pack in and it's already gone 11. So it's vital today run smoothly or the book stops with Kaylee. There'll be someone at the beginning and there'll be someone at the end making sure everybody stays together. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Kaylee. We'll see you.
little private card. I love it. Yeah. Very excited. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is. It's a gorgeous day. Not too hot. Not it's too perfect. Low. All ashore that's going ashore. It's straight to the beach for their first activity, jet skiing. But there's a slight problem. <laughs> Should I signed up for individual skiing. Oh, did we? Yeah. Everybody's on individual skiing. Individual skiing. Yeah, we had two. We wanted to share. Okay. It looks like someone's got trigger happy and booked double the number of jet skis, which would leave the parents with a considerably lighter wallet. Because right now you're paying for four jet skis, you're not paying for two jet skis. And not everyone's complaining. How about we do three jet skis and we'll make it... It's <laughs> <laughs> Julie, you want to share with me and then the girls can have their own? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Slip up avoided. An experienced jet skier, Caitlin, won't have to share a jet ski with her sister. See the boss baby. <laughs> the baby boss. The youngest one's always the spoiled one, right? It's so pretty. I'm excited. I am ready to go. Get me on that water. Looking great. Ready to go. While most sailors have made it to shore, Damien's still on board. He's waiting for the ship's doctor, having opted for a therapy. But will he make it to Bimini? Or has the Mancunian peaked too soon after a heavy night? Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, very good, thank you. How are you feeling? Good. Everything fine? Yeah, everything seems to be all right. So you're ready to party, are you? Absolutely. Are you ready for like your next star. margarita? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What were they actually put in you? Um, it was like a cocktail of uh, saline with different vitamins and stuff to make me feel good, yeah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And for Damien, it's been worth the sacrifice. Ready to go again. Some might see it as being a waste if I just got straight back on it now, but uh, it's probably more of an investment just to allow me to carry on and do it again. <laughs> George's farewell surprise for the captain hasn't been going to plan. Everything's in place, but Giovanni's nowhere to be found. Hi, Captain. Are you com can you please come up to the bridge, if that's possible? Finally, the captain has arrived. But what will he think of the cake? <laughs> so, I'm uh, speechless. <laughs> nice cake. Very, very big, uh, like a uh, scarlet, more or less. <laughs> I want to make a big applause to all of you because you did a very good job. Thank you. This is my second time I cut the cake. The first was for my wedding and I got divorced. So it's not, <laughs> it's not the best way. It was not a tremendous success. <laughs> Divorces aside, it's an emotional moment for second officer Georgia. I miss Captain Giovanni a lot. It's going to be sad not to sail with him, especially because I am moving to a different ship next time round as well. So I don't know when I'll next sail with him. It's given me a lot of opportunities. So I'm very, very grateful to him for his guidance and his mentorship. As the bridge bid Giovanni farewell, back on Bimini, our rock star family are coming in from their jet ski ride. So good, so fun torn between wanting to go fast and, you know, really ride the waves, get some air, go crazy, and just, like, take it all in. That was fun. It was choppy as hell. Up. <laughs> I know. Despite a mess up with the booking, the family have really gone for it, especially 26-year-old Caitlin. I was like, I thought I was going to break would the jet You slow down and then you're like, I, know, we were I was boom. Boom. And then it was just the, the first of their excursions has certainly delivered. Jet skiing was absolutely amazing. We're gonna go get some drinks and then uh, we're gonna go swim and see the stingrays. Some libations. <laughs> yeah, I need a Time cocktail. <laughs> libations and hydrations. So we're gonna be on the south side. It's fast approaching noon, and assistant restaurant manager Jason has only 10 minutes till lunch service. But he's still training up new recruit Camilla. So stay on that side so that you can, so we make it nice and nice and straight. With Jason firing out instructions left, right and centre. Afternoon, welcome. What would you like? 
clean area, dirty area. Camilla needs a notepad to remember it all. Camilla's obviously going to take over from Paulina. So she's and when there's no more space in the notepad, it's a case of tapping it out on a phone. We have a list of three sailors who are lactose-free, gluten-free, and then the other one has celiac. So these items we have in one part of the galley. Hopefully all those notes will come in handy, but the pressure is about to ramp up. As today, Jason's taking an extra gamble on Camilla. She'll be looking after the rock stars. Firstly, I know that everybody's job is important, but your job is even much more important. The reason being why is these sailors that are here, they have spent the most money. You know, they have a bigger expectation. So how is Camilla feeling about her challenge? I'm just like, whew, take a deep breath. For the Mataya VIPs, there's trouble in paradise. Their cocktail break has overrun, and the family are running late for their stingray experience. Yeah, we're going to miss our excursion if we're not careful. We should get peel Caitlin off the lounge chair. Swimming with stingrays has cost them hundreds, and excursions team member Kaylee will get it in the neck if they don't make it. For 29-year-old Brianna, missing the stingrays is not an option. They said the train yeah. comes every five minutes, and it's been longer than that. I want to swim with stingrays. I want to see them. As the ship awaits patiently at port and the mercury rises, it's starting to get busy over at the beach club. And it's in the VIP section where the party's really at. Today's hottest ticket for the dedicated DJ bar and beach area. And only those with a black band can get in. No nonsense Selma has finally made it off the ship and is making sure only rock stars enter the exclusive area. Hi, how are you? She's on schmooze duty again. How are you? Good, how are you? Enjoying? However, it's not all fun and games, as door person Selma's having to keep a close eye on who's coming and going. Hi. Thank you. No need, no need. And some rock star chancers want to bend the rules and bring their friends in. Unfortunately, we don't have any additional bands. Okay, you, I'll go where, here. where do you want to bring them? To our Hating to say no to a rock star, Selma lets them in, but she won't be able to get them bar access. But unfortunately, they will not be able, be able to be served here. That's fine. That's okay? Yes. They're just okay. Hang with you. okay. But she has a job on her hands. Some guests have made it past Selma and to the bar. She's spotted a group of wannabes that definitely aren't rock stars. Unfortunately, we're having a spring break on the island, so it's full of teenagers from college. <laughs> I call them teenagers, but um, still, they're not allowed to be here while we're using the retreat, and they're not aware of it. After hunting them down, she promptly shows them the door. Just following with my eyes where they're going. <laughs> they're not really happy about it, but what to do? It is how it is. With Selma's job being a yes person to the rock stars 24 hours a day, saying no doesn't come naturally. I don't like saying no, but sometimes you just have to get the boundaries, even in real life, even in the job, you just have to set the boundaries. As Selma doubles as a bouncer, inside the staff are preparing the bar. They have to work extra hard to make sure guests receive the same level of service on dry land as they're accustomed to on board. And that means providing over 50 drink options. Cool. Meet 35-year-old Rick, the charmer from Brazil, a top world-class mixologist. How are you guys? All good? Great, great. Flirtatious and suave, he knows more than most about margaritas. Margarita. Cool. Margarita is my specialty, by the way. <laughs> One or two? Two, please. Or make something different, though. Oh, two margaritas is great. Cool. 
And after, what are you guys gonna do? Pink agave is dinner tonight. Pink agave has one cocktail called La Chica Flaca. That's one of our main cocktails inside over there, so make sure that you guys drink that one. Okay. That's both of them. Just to roll them. Thank you. I make with no salt for you guys to take more taste of the tequila on that. Each bimini is going to be 300 to 500 cocktails, let's say. That's a lot. The preparation starts one day before. And then I have to be in here to taking care of all the bars. We always have like a specific parties. That's what's going on one over there just right now. And I have to take care of the rock stars over here. So it's one of the biggest days for us over here. Salute. <laughs> but it's not enough to just mix a drink. I love to put the crown up. So I love, I love to be the star of the show. I can tell you that. But if I can raise everybody that's together with me to be the star of the show together with me, I will do it. Hey, how are you, sir? As one of the world's best, you need that extra factor that will impress even the most demanding rock stars. Today, he's keen to stir up a unique cocktail for the guests. And at £10 a go, he's hoping to shift as many as he can. You like vodka? I do like vodka. You like Aperol? I do like Aperol. So let's do this. Some orange juice. You know, citricity has to be there. Do you have a name for it? What? No. Actually, all my cocktails, I just do it once, so I name it, all of them has only one name. Okay. It's orgasm, because orgasm. you only have one in a lifetime. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Rick. But will it hit the right spot? Right, okay, try it, see if it's good. If it's not good, you don't pay. It's delicious. Cool? Like yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. You have a you know that. Yeah. I appreciate it. Ricky at the bar. It's great. Uh, so coming back to, anytime I see got someone who made a good, great drink for me, I'm always going back for them. While Rick provides a steady stream of drinks and jokes, things are heating up in the food department. From the Bain Marine, they put it in here, serve it onto there. There's some last minute tips for Camilla. You're more than welcome to grab a drink over there and then they'll have a seat. What's important for me today is that we ensure that the presentation is on point. It's peak lunch service and make or break time for Jason and Camilla. The hungry sailors are coming in thick and fast and they're expecting to be impressed. With over 800 meals to serve, Jason can't let standards slip. His attention to detail knows no end, even down to the number of seeds sprinkled on the hummus. From the first plate until the last plate, each one must be the same. So when you speak to the team, I want you to ensure that one plate doesn't have six pumpkin seeds. Consistency is the cornerstone of our organization. Seeds counted, and Jason makes sure the dishes are tasting top-notch. You can basically eat it by hand. Nice, easy. But Jason needs to keep an eye on all aspects of service. And after some quality control in the kitchen, he ramps up the charm and checks in with some rock stars. How's the flavor? Oh, it's brilliant. Up to expectation. Oh, nice. You still working on this or would you like us to clear it away for you? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's island time, so it's so chilled. His service is second to none. But his limited description of potato parve might be going beyond expectation. So basically what we do is we take a potato peeler, we peel the skin off first, then we use that same peeler and we slightly, we lightly peel, like a patio. You know, you peel, you're peeling the potato. Before we put it into the baking tray, we put salt, butter, potato, salt, butter, potato, salt, butter, potato, and lay it up to a stack of about 70 into the oven for 45 minutes at 70 degrees. So it's a nice, slow, so it cooks through nicely. I think they might just want a plate of chips, Jason. Let me check on your picture quickly. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Very Degree well. course over. It's a nervous Camilla's turn in the spotlight. What a challenge lies ahead. Good hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How's your lunch going so far here? Wow. Super. Thank you so much. They've got their eye on a neighbouring table's cocktail. I'm wondering what that green drink is over there, but we've got drink in we need a green drink at St. Patrick's. It's St. Patrick's Day, okay. Fair enough. It makes sense. Fair I'll bring it for you, all right? Thank you. Like Jason, Camilla needs to know every drink on the menu. But even after exhaustive note taking, she's been caught out. Well, I'm still learning the menu in a bimini. So 
I honestly don't know what is there. Oh, that's the pina colada, but it's the Patrick. Ah, it's just a pina colada, but it's green. All right. Turns out the drink is already prepared, so she can whisk it to the table in lightning time. There is a St. Patrick's pina colada. There's a perfect special. As Camilla proves, she's up to the task. There you go. Our rock star family, the Matayas, are still trying to make it to their Stingray excursion. They finally managed to get a tram. In the front there? They announced it over the loudspeaker. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> but someone hasn't packed a map. They said Stingrays is down that way. Stingrays here? Go up further. Oh, up further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. We're back on. Sorry. We're back on. Sea life fanatic Brianna isn't taking it well. They said Fisherman's Village. Get off for these excursions. And I asked her when we were up there, and she said, come back here. Okay, now we're really, now we get to really get off. <laughs> By the skin of their teeth, the family finally make it to the Stingray excursion. On behalf of our team members, we'd like to thank you for joining us today. At least they thought they had. We had a little bit of a, a, a little mishap, but uh, we got it all straightened out. Everybody's been very, very accommodating. You know, they, we thought we were supposed to get off at the previous stop to, to do our Stingray tour, and we missed it. Is it all done? Yeah, we missed it. Oh. Unfortunately, yes, the excursion has already gone. Things have gone from bad to worse for the Mataya family. We missed it. They've missed their stingray excursion. Yeah, we missed it. Oh. So it was a big group, I guess, and they waited as long as they could, and now we see what we do. And Julie's annoyed. Being VIPs, they could have asked for their own private transport. Well, I'm sorry, we shouldn't be able to call for the golf cart. Well, I'm sorry about that. So, unfortunately, yes, the excursion has already gone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank, Thank you. you. So we missed our excursion because the shuttle took like 15 minutes to show up. And to top it off, they might not be getting a refund, so it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, so I was really excited to go out and see the stingrays just because I think they're they're super cool. Yeah, not today, I guess. So the most disappointed. Yeah, I'm the most disappointed, probably. Uh, it's okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Stingray superfan Brianna is putting on a brave face. Shit, shit happens, as yeah. they say, right? <laughs> We should, ship happens. Let's just not miss getting on the actual cruise ship. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, ladies. As the rock stars make their way back to the beach club, second officer Georgia is keeping her distance from any unhappy sailors. She's got a few hours downtime and has escaped to the crew beach with fellow bridge officer Carolina. This is definitely a highlight. And it's just a nice place. You know you've got beautiful weather 99% of the time. To be able to take a break, just kind of chill out, just not think about the ship. I mean, I'm stuck with her. She's my watch buddy. Come on, you like me. You say that you like me. You say that we want to go to you. I mean, it makes it worthwhile, right? The stresses we go through, the hours, the getting off at 3.15 tomorrow morning in Miami. <laughs> In a male-dominated industry, the two officers have formed a strong bond. Having females on the bridge, it's such a perk. It's great. Honestly, it's really good. Just to get some girl time as well. So much guy time. I mean, they're kind of, they're learning from us. We talk about skincare, we talk about exfoliation. We're like making them, whether they like it or not. Have I seen that one? What? Yeah, the one that they saw the way down. You picked this one? When I qualified, I very rarely saw another female officer on the bridge, maybe one here or there. But here at Virgin, there's so many more females. And I think with us working together, we realized how nice it is. For a lot of us, it's been the first time we've worked with kind of more than one female. And it's for a lot of people, it's like, wow, this is weird that I've got female friends. As Georgia and Carolina cool off in the sea, Back at the beach club, for assistant manager Jason, the end of lunch service is in sight. Awesome, great success. And the punters are left with a smile on their faces as well. It has been incredible. 
absolutely incredible. The, um, the attention to detail, the meticulousness of the service, flexibility, it has just been fantastic. Jason's pulled it off and takes the glory. The member of the crew that stood out the most to me, uh, Jason, uh, who, who took care of us here. Lead by example, thank you very much. Here we go. For newbie Camilla, it marks the end of her first ever shift on Bimini. But there's no time for a pat on the back from Jason. Dishwashers are ready, dry waste only, clean cans, metal, so everything is color coded, that everything is washed, and sanitized, and kept clean in here. Like after any good party, there's still the washing up to do. Those dishes have to be sparkling clean. Jason's thinking big picture. We want to utilize this place for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. If we follow this and we take care of the product, this is going to be good for us. As the future of the company rests on Camilla and a bottle of washing up liquid, Kaylee's got word that her rock star's day didn't go quite as planned. So guys, what happened? Where were you? You missed your stingray. When people are at the beach club and they're enjoying their time, Time sometimes runs away with people because they're enjoying themselves. But the family are still frustrated they weren't told about the VIP cart they could have called. Nobody told us until after the fact that we could have called our um, private, what do you call it? Like Rockstar Club. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. Place where but that former happened. Red Coat entertainer Kaylee knows how to turn a frown upside down. But you enjoyed the beach club instead, oh, I heard. Oh my God, so much. I don't think we, like, you know, we missed something, but I don't think we missed anything. Good. It's so beautiful here. Yeah. And you were out this morning anyway on the sea, so you got to see Bimini from and the jet ski. saw a stingray right out here. You did I see a stingray. I wish you'd come back. I didn't get to see it. It actually we tried. So. I did tell you you'd see the stingray. We did. So not a total loss. So great day. So a great day. So take care. Yeah, enjoy you. Bye. 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 Thank See you. you. It's 7 p.m. And with an hour left till the ship departs for Miami, it's the end of an exhausting and exhilarating day for sailors and crew. Although Kaylee has her own special way of keeping energy levels up. We have our own crew gym. So I like to keep myself energized keep my mental fitness and also positive energy by keeping my body fit and healthy. What's the real answer? <laughs> Did you know that was a lie? <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm having an early night. Tonight's the end of the cruise, so it's time for us to recover and recuperate ready for our next bunch of sailors joining us in Miami. Coming up next time, a sailor takes a huge gamble on her first tattoo. I have to tell you, I did something really crazy. Jason's forced to deal with demanding diners. When Jason's not busy, could you ask him just to come over? I'd like to know what that was. And it's almost curtains for the dual reality show. Apparently there's been some high winds. Oh my God. On The Cruise.